intruders! Don't let them escape! Sir, we have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well. Your Majesty. <laughs> Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? The king intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I... Seize the insurgent. My lord! <laughs> well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the Captain away. <laughs> Off you go. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms, raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanas, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors, 
who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. Yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Sod B, we don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. What way you're going, Churl? Huh? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! It's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguel out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. 
Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble on the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams are trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? <laughs> I can't leave my shop and dive Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. <laughs> what do you say? <sighs> Sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. We've got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right.
You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this. Yeah! 